cover up murder case of Ted R. Schmidt, 9 3 of 99. This video, and we're sitting in the park, by the way, by the river, which is nice. But this is a blatant, open, up front scenario about. Ruby Rhodes, she's 75, she was born in 1945, she does have some past, but I won't go there, don't believe the woman's got a soul, because she drove up from Copeland, which is in the Everglades, to Ties, which is in Fort Myers, Lee County, and she picks up my son, knowing that Miss Rhodes, I ought to speak directly to you on this video, but at moments I'd rather not talk to you because I've never in my life known a mother or a grandmother that would take her daughter and her three kids to see my son murdered in her house. Now that, to me, is unspeakable. It's worse than any soap opera. She's a girl. Okay? Now, she knew exactly what she was doing when she left the house, but her daughter could sit in jail with my son taking care of her kids for several months while she was in jail, her daughter, and she wouldn't even bail her out or drive up there to even speak to the woman or care about her grandchildren. Am I right or wrong, Brandy? That is correct. And let alone send a letter while being in jail and not ask anything about her kids doing. And the only thing she cares about, oh, well, do you have this money and are you taking care of talking to my uncle? And doesn't mention anything about her own children. She don't even care about her own children. And it's kind of funny because some of the kids that are growing up in, in age today are living the same exact footsteps as their mama. Now, they haven't had any grandchildren nope. from them for Tamala which would make a 75-year-old woman a great-grandmother mm -hmm. after they've seen a horrendous murder that they've had to live with for 22 years. I am a victim. There are a lot of victims out here, more than I can count. And our justice, it's not justice. And Jean Rhodes, where is your soul? If you go to church, you don't, and you don't. And I won't even repeat how I think or how I would like to really reach out and say to you, are you really going to take my son, my oldest son, life with the devil and go to sleep and never wake up? Mm -hmm. One of these mornings, the devil is going to come back for that contract. You wake up either dead in your grave or turned over in your bed. And I'll say this once and one time only. You are just as cruel and hateful as the rest of that family and, and you are you're evil you're just like the devil's queen just right there sitting on the throne waiting to go to hell and i am going to say that and i'm sorry for if that's a cusper if it takes offense to anybody but you're going to take my son's death to the deathbed with you or you're going to come out and mm -hmm. be honest and let your soul be at peace because when you take your soul that way mm, and you mm, want to give him mm. his last meal just before his younger brother's birthday? Honestly. Or yeah. on his birthday? Yeah. That's really screwed up. Labor Day. That's really screwed up in the head. Like, you, you lost quite a few bolts and nuggets there because you are definitely not a working clock, that's for sure. And we're going to turn the camera around so you can see the river. We're trying to be at peace. You see that river? That's the Tennessee River. God bless.